everybody, welcome back to Sally Saves. Today we are going to be doing um, my cash stuffing for my third week of the month. Our last cash stuffing will be um, on, I'm gonna really try hard to do it this coming um, Sunday because I also want to um, do a video updating my envelopes with my spooky October Halloween -y inserts and stuff. So that's, that's the plan. We'll see whether the plan happens, but we'll, we'll, we'll try with the plan. <laughs> um, so we are going to be stuffing the sum of what I have in my back to bank. I need to update this actually because um, what I found myself doing is probably, it's probably not the way this should work but it's just the way that it's currently working for me is that I'm still using my debit card to pay for things like I, I'm using my debit card to pay for groceries I, when I went to get the um, dog and cat some food I used my debit card and then what I'm doing is I'm removing however much I spent from my envelopes and I'm putting it in the back to bank envelope but I do need to update so let's do that quickly. I think I've got 110, but let's find out. So it's the 30th, 30th today. We're almost in autumn. It feels like the last couple of days have really been the first days where it hasn't felt like summer. Still, I think we're getting there, girls and boys. Um, so, it was in, we had 16 here before. How much do we have in here now? We've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 10, 115. Okay, so 115 minus 60. Ah. Um, this is when I need a calculator, but I'm going to use my finger. <laughs> Maths is not my strong point. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 55. So we put 55 in there and it was a, now a total of 115. Let's just keep that between us guys. Okay, so 115 is what we are working with. And with that, I'm now gonna out all that. So 30th 09 out, 115 for a total now of zero. So I'm excited to show you all this stuff. A little uh, sneak peek. That's done. So what did I take out? I took everything out of animals. So it was 25 out of here. I'm gonna, that was, say, was it yesterday? Let's say it was yesterday. Now oh, it was a full amount. I actually spent a bit more than than the 25, but I did get enough dog food at least for the, at least two months so I don't feel bad about that I also took everything out of groceries where's groceries also um let me just find groceries okay so I took 30 I've got 10 in here so I took 30 out of here That again was yesterday. Out 30, so we have 10 left in here. Um, 25, where is all? I think the other um, amount has come from what was, hang on, 
I'm getting a bit confused, aren't I? So 30 came out of groceries. 25, 55, right? Right, guys? Guys? <laughs> yeah, 55, okay. So we have 50, 55. That has gone in there. Let's sort this out again. I don't know whether you can... Okay, so let's get one of our tracker cards out. Oh yeah, so um, you know how I was saying I was getting really annoyed with how bulky my envelopes are and I'm not at a point yet where I know what a lot of people do is they will split their envelopes into sinking funds and cash, like spending envelopes. Um, I don't really feel that I'm at the point where I want to do that yet. So I took, I just took the um, little white zipper things off. <laughs> so much easier, so much better. Um, I'm not like bulking out my, um, you know, I, I'm probably, I'm gonna get to the point where I'll need to split them up, but right now we are not there. So we're looking at week three. How has everybody's week been? Been. Maybe everyone is having a good week. 115, so it's a total of 115. All right, so let's think about this for a minute. I'm, I'm not going to put anything, obviously the one of the main envelopes I usually put in is groceries. I actually don't need to do that because my partner um, has covered our groceries for this week. We have a well, I um, supplemented a bit yesterday, but we do have a fridge and freezer full of food. So I don't need to put anything in groceries. So I'm going to put, let's have a go through. I'm not gonna put anything in travel, nothing in home stuff. I think I'm going to put, hmm, I'm gonna put 10 in health. We've already got 30 in there. I'm gonna put 10 in there, so that'll be a total of 40. Make sure I'm getting in the right. Obviously without the zippers, you do have to use your, your nail kind of to get in there. Sometimes they close up a bit much and you have to just kind of slice it open. Animals. Animals are going to get. Um, animals are going to get. Let's have a think about this. Animals are going to get ten. To say both of them are, are sorted for at least the next month, and the dog is sorted for at least two months. So. It's not really a um, huge concern at the moment. There's nothing in there. I'm going to put 10 in there for a total of 10. Um, did I update my health one? I didn't, did I? Mm -hmm. Let's get this. It's the 30th today. Going in, we put 10 in for a total of 40. All right, guys, did I actually put it in yet? Oh, I did, I just uh, put it in the wrong way around. Oh, okay, done. Right, animals, animals are gonna get to say 10. Total of ten. Good. Business. 
isn't actually business is going to get something business is going to get five because i had a um, unexpected facebook ads thing come out so i'm going to make sure that that's covered with this nothing in business at the moment i'm going to put five in that will be a total of five sizes and different fabrics but all kind of um, very similar kind of matching from Etsy the other month and I love them they're usually down in the living room but I thought I would decorate my space a little bit um, hobbies hobbies is not getting anything technology technology is going to get 10 Ten. Yeah. Tech has got twenty in there. Putting ten in for a total thirty. So who's sad about the end of summer and who is happy that we are going into autumn fall? I am really happy. <laughs> I, I love the sun, but I'm not a fan of the heat. Um, they kind of come together a lot of the time. <laughs> so I'm, I'm also, I, you know, I'm terribly, awfully um, stereotypical in that. I love the autumn. I love all the um, warmer clothing that you can get. And yeah, it's just a bit. Uh, I like autumn a lot. You can start cooking more. I love cooking most of the time. <laughs> so you can start cooking more kind of autumn, cosy comfort. Like I made cottage pie the other day and oh my goodness, it was so good. It was amazing. I, even if I do say so myself. <laughs> right, groceries. Groceries is going to get 20. As I say, we have a kitchen full. So, um, I'm not too worried about this at the moment and also next month because my income next month is going to be nothing <laughs> it's just going to be very low um i don't have any extra income coming in next month is all um i'm just going to get my universal credit so my partner is going to have to cover the vast majority of our grocery expenditure next month um groceries we're gonna put 20, there is 10 in there currently. Put 20 in for a total of 30. Let's see whether anything else is going to get anything beyond eating out. Eating out. Um, I 
I'm gonna leave eating out. I just can't afford at the moment, unfortunately, to put anything in there. Um, nothing in courtly visit, nothing Christmas, nothing in miscellaneous spending. I have nothing to spend. Emergency fund is going to get 20. think about the idea of me recording my switchover, my rec uh, recording my switchover from these inserts and these September sheets to the October ones, or should I just start with them already done? I don't know whether that's going to be in any way entertaining. As I say, I definitely want to kind of show you what I'm gonna do, but I don't know whether you actually want to see me doing the physical, taking things out, putting things in. Like I say, I, I don't know whether that's entertaining or not. Probably not. <laughs> Let me know. So rollover 55 we've got in there at the moment, which is awesome. We're gonna put 20 in for, no, hang on, what have I done? What have I done, girls? Oh God, what have I done? <laughs> 35, 30, hang on, hang on, 35, 20 in there for a total of 55. Good. It's all going pay time. Let's make sure this is all the right way around. 20, so 55, yeah? Yeah. guys like to keep in your car maintenance envelope and I'm interested to know those of you that are single and those of you that um, have a partner like how does that affect things like how does it work in your household because I mean my partner is on thank goodness a significantly higher salary than me he you know has worked full time for the same company um, for you know almost 15 years um, and he has a computer science degree he's a smart guy and he's paid accordingly thank thank god <laughs> because as, as we are fast realizing i am poor most of the time so my partner the reason that i went down this road uh, my partner bought our car and he has he pays for the majority of things like um, insurance. Although I did pay, I think I paid about a third of our insurance. So I, I, I'm the kind of person, and there are very um, real reasons for this that I'm very aware of. I can't bear feeling like I'm not contributing to our financial situation <laughs> like i hate it like when we go out for dinner like i i if i don't cover like half or like i, I, I it makes me feel really nervous and i know it's nothing to do with him whatsoever because i 
you know, absolutely nothing to do with him. It's all about me and my kind of neuroses. Um, but even if it's a small amount, I have to contribute something. So anyway, he has paid for, he pays for the majority of the insurance. He pays for the tax. Our tax is not, in fact, I don't think we pay tax because our cars are hybrid or we pay something ridiculous like 10 pounds a month, 10 pounds a year or something crazy. Um, but I pay for, this is rambling, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I pay for the vast majority of our petrol, mostly because I'm the main car user. I'm the person that uses the car the vast majority of the time. So it only seems right that I'm the one that fills the tank. So I cover the petrol and um, I am determined to pay, you know, a significant portion of things like servicing and, and stuff like that. So I'm interested, how does it work after all that ridiculous blathering on? How does it work in, in your family, in your household? Petrol, did I update this after all that? I did, okay. Mm. Petrol, petrol is going to get, after all that, 20. Let me do this first. Petrol. has got nothing in there, because I took it all out this week to fill our tank up. How have you guys been dealing with the whole ridiculous petrol thing in the UK? People are crazy, aren't they? Absolutely crazy. Like, there's been twice this week where I've been blocked in at Tesco's, trying to leave after doing some grocery shopping because the queue for the, um, the queue for petrol has been so long. Guys, ridiculous. Just use all the toilet roll you've hoarded for your... <laughs> oh, God. Okay, in 20 for a total of 20. Also, I re um, recall that I said, was it last video or the video before, that it cost like 50 quid to fill up our tank. I was way off. Guys, I was so way off. Probably from empty it would cost like six, over 60, probably nearer 70, because it was about half full the other day and it cost me almost, it's like, it's like 37 pounds to, to get it full, so I was way off. It's going in. It's 20 for a total of 20. Awesome. Also, thank goodness I have all my Christmas saving ready and done because my income over the last couple of months, well, last month and this month, well, next month, sorry, September and October, it is just horrendous. I um, teach English online to kids in China and there's been this whole new thing with new regulation being brought in that foreign teachers can no longer teach English or anything to Chinese children that live in mainland China. So that has been a very, it's been a huge um, issue in terms of my income. So I'm currently looking at what I want to do. Do I want to try and um, find other teaching work i also do some tutoring um offline do i want to try and focus on growing that i don't really i don't really know what i'm going to do um i'd also really like to look at maybe getting into some more selling some of my creative creations um but i'm, I'm trying to figure out how that's gonna work with me for me because I've done the Etsy thing before and it didn't really, it didn't really work for me. I think it's, I mean, I think it's a fantastic platform if you can make it work for you. And I just never really, beyond spending like a huge percentage of the money that I was making in on advertising on the Etsy ads, like I just 
I wasn't, yeah, I, I wasn't um, blown away with with how it worked for me. So I'm going to have a think about it, ponder it, and see what I wanna do with it. Maybe there's another platform that I could look at. I don't know. If you've got any thoughts about any of it, let me know, guys. <laughs> let me know. All right, we are done with our week three stuffing. Wasn't very exciting, was it? Not a lot of money this this week, but to be fair, we are on Thursday, <laughs> so you know there's not a lot of spending to be done before Sunday, which is when I want to um, do our last our last um, stuffing for September. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm, I'm never convinced how entertaining <laughs> I, I am with these videos, but um, I really appreciate your support. And I will see you very soon. I'm going to hopefully get this um, envelope update video up within the next couple of days. Let me know your thoughts on that, whether you'd like to see me actually physically um, switch everything over and ramble on about, you know, what I do, <laughs> or whether you just like me to kind of do it all and then show you what it looks like. Let me know, guys. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Have a fab weekend. See you soon. Mm -hmm.